I promise you that this job is worthy of being your life's work. For years, you've worked insanely hard. You've sacrificed your social lives, relationships, and pulled who knows how many all-nighters. I am in awe of, um, of what you've done. And, uh, well, you've, you've dedicated yourselves to helping others and to making their lives better and healthier and longer and sometimes saving them altogether. Some people, of course, you won't be able to save, but every day you will be actively and specifically making this world a better place. And that's something a lot of people talk about, but you won't need to talk about it because you do it and you'll be doing it. And you have my respect, my admiration, and my gratitude for that. Medical care is something that we take for granted. Um, but when my son was born, with a life-threatening condition, a congenital heart defect, I saw that what you're doing is miraculous. And I thank Dr. Starnes again for all he did for our family. <laughs> a friend of a friend of mine said, uh, who's a doctor said, medicine is magic for adults. And it is, it is magic that's made possible uh, my son to have a healthy life and to grow and to even bite me on the nipple really hard last week For no reason at all. I did nothing to him Medicine made that possible Children's Hospital made that possible you will make that possible for other parents and as doctors you will have not only the opportunities to speak out but also the authority to speak out and I hope that you will have the courage too and I know you will because you didn't become doctors to help people who have the right insurance or can cover the co-pays. You got into this to help other people based on need and you deserve a support system that lets you do that regardless of our national circumstances. Make no mistake, you should still make a lot of money for doing it. <laughs> There's no reason that shouldn't happen. You deserve it for working so hard and uh, eating so much ramen all these years, and not even the top ramen, the bottom ramen. <laughs> you deserve every penny you get. But do be kind, be compassionate, caring and understanding. Teach your patients. Doctor means teacher, right? Teach the techs and the students. Handle your fellow humans gently. And listen, that's really all we want is we want a doctor to listen and act like he or she cares. We don't expect you to have all the, we, we do expect you to have all the answers. Answers. And by the way, after all the money you spent on school, you should have some of the answers for sure. But if you don't, just fake it. We don't know what you're talking about. Just use words like dysphagia and we will nod. And my final piece of advice is this, is to take care of yourselves. You're going to be saddled with a lot of stress. Uh, taking care of others, people depend on you for their well-being and their lives. You'll be dealing with frightened, sometimes angry patients. The life you've chosen is consequential. You've been given the privilege of seeing people who were a few moments ago complete strangers, undressed and sharing secrets they've never shared with anyone else. And sometimes you have to give them terrible news. It's a stressful job being responsible for other people's lives and most of your marketing friends and your writer friends and your lawyer friends are not going to understand it. So lean on each other because all of you will um, in the next three to seven years have a hard time. It will be hard. Doctors need doctors too. Take care of each other and find a way to make time for yourself. Thank you for listening. Thank you for devoting your lives to this noble profession. Thank you for all the hard work you've done and the hard work you're going to do. Nothing is more important than this. I promise you that this job is worthy of being your life's work. Thank you for helping others. And um, I don't know when the peace sign became fight on, but fight on.